the other day I did share a post outdoors post hiking uh, video about skincare and what I do to take care of my skin we just got back well not today but we just wrapped up last weekend um, a beautiful kayaking hiking adventure in uh, between Nevada and Arizona and so this time of the year between spring and summer if you're spending a lot of time outdoors especially in the desert uh, where the weather is very dry and very harsh on your skin so my skin is not having the best time um, this time it's actually my lips they are extremely dry and so I did share over on Instagram if anyone will be interested in seeing a natural uh, mask that I'm going to make right here just to, you know, restore my skin and just um, hydrate my, my lips. So this is going to be natural, very minimal ingredients. It's a great way to um, take care of your lips in particular uh, after you're being exposed to, to the sun for a long amount of time. So the first thing that I'm going to do... I am going to make a quick exfoliating solution, not solution, but anyway, so um, I have some sugar over, he over here, it's like a bit of sugar, and then to it, I'm going to add some coconut oil, virgin co coconut oil. So with the coconut oil, that is going to do a good job of uh, hydrating. And then sugar, because it's a little bit rough, it's going to help exfoliate. More sugar. There we go. I'm just going to mix the whole thing together. Uh, easier to use my hands there we go probably have to add a little bit more coconut oil so that it's easy for me to apply. Let's do a little bit more coconut oil. I hope our family here on Trekking Pals and friends on Trekking Pals don't think that this is going to become a skincare YouTube channel. It's not going to be the case. It's just that with summer right now, um, your skin will be exposed to, to the heat and it's very important to take care of your skin so that you can enjoy the outdoors with the least amount of damage. Okay. So with that, let's see. So that's the that's what I made right here. So this I can use for a couple of days and then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on my lips. I have these little containers that I use for any face masks or lip masks like now that I make at home. So I'm just gonna put it in the container like so and then put it in the fridge. But that's going to be good to exfoliate. You probably can't see very well, but I did share um, a little story over on Instagram and you can see that my lips are really suffering. Even though I was applying chopstick the whole time, it wasn't enough that the sun was cooking. So this is good. Just gonna leave it here for a little bit to help hydrate. And then close this one. I don't have much time, so I'm trying to rush through this. So anyway, um, so that's uh, my hands are oily. Hmm. So that's good for now. There it is. And then the next one is going to be 
um, a mask that I'm going to to apply after I clean uh, whatever I have on right now and then I can even spend the night wearing the same so for this one I've got my little container and then I'm gonna use uh, some aloe vera I talked the other day about the importance of uh, aloe vera to heal your skin and even help with the uh, burnt skin and so on so you know just uh, uh, aloe vera gel I've got two of them I've got this one that I got from Walgreens and then this one probably from fries or something I don't remember I bought plenty of them during the lockdown if you guys remember so I'm going to add some of the gel right here Okay, and then to that, to the gel, I'm gonna add coconut oil again, version coconut oil. Uh, it's also unrefined, so this is uh, olive oil that I can use for masks like this and even for cooking. So the gel, aloe vera gel, and then coconut oil. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, turmeric powder. What turmeric does, it helps brighten your skin. So I think I need that for my lips at least. So to, to the mixture right here, just a little bit of turmeric, that should be enough. And then I'm just gonna mix everything right here until it feels homogeneous to me. I probably put more olive oil than aloe vera gel. So I'm gonna add in more of the gel. I didn't expect anyone to be on this live because of this time of the day but uh, if I don't do it right now hi I won't find the time so there it is so there it is this is the mixture this is what it looks like obviously this uh, color right here because the gel that I used is green but if I were to use a clear one, this is clear, see, it's clear, then the color of the mixture would have been white. Uh, well, it uh, would have been white until I add turmeric, obviously, but it wouldn't look kind of yellowish, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that looks pretty good for me. You can see right here. That's the mixture, right? So I'm just gonna... This is obviously not enough time to exfoliate and such, but let's just pretend this is done. I'm just gonna clean that. Hmm, it's nice and sweet. It's got some sugar. Mm. So there we go, get that cleaned. And then just from the mixture that I made, I'm going to apply some of it, just a little bit. Uh, feels really good, it really does. So that is going to hydrate, repair and brighten. Mm -hmm. And that I can leave on my lips and then before I go to sleep I will also apply it.
and we are grooving. So there we go. So this is what I made to exfoliate coconut oil, version coconut oil unrefined with sugar, just to exfoliate your lips. And then this is the dehydrating mask. So that is aloe vera gel uh, with turmeric and uh, coconut oil as well. There we go. So I'm gonna store them in, uh, in the fridge and I can use them throughout this week. And um, hopefully that's going to help repair the damage on my lips. I hope that you guys find this to be useful. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. My name is Habiba, this is Tracking Pals, and I will see you very soon on a new adventure. Bye.